Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. My name is Mila and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to make you a video about my 10 perfumes for life. What perfumes would I keep if I could only keep 10 for life? So first I had kind of a mindset of thinking like, yes, but what if I don't like this when I'm older, etc. But then I was like, come on, that's only an occasion to do more videos. So I will do 10 perfumes for life 2019, 10 perfumes for life, I cannot talk, 10 perfumes for life 2020, 10 perfumes for life 2050, hopefully. So yeah, that's great. So you can see my style evolve. Um, for those who are new here, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and activate the notification bell. For the other ones, I have to say, like, you're not gonna be much surprised, I feel like. I, my taste is quite linear. My favorite perfumes are my favorite perfumes. Uh, let me just start by saying that I massively cheated. <laughs> I have a lot more than 10 perfumes, but I am going to make it 10 at the end, okay? So let me start by the obvious. I know everyone is bored of it, but this is my favorite perfume ever this is alien from Thierry Mugler it is a jasmine amber perfume it smells very sexy um, it has a very long-lasting power and a huge projection when you come into a room you can definitely smell it unfortunately for me it became a little bit too popular but I really like to mix it with single notes perfumes I did already uh, a video about perfume mixing go check it out if you're interested then, um, okay, so this is Alien Essence Absolute. This is a vanilla, more um, gourmand, more winter version of the Alien. Let's say that Alien is the cold and this is the warm. It's a great kind of like jumper perfume. It smells very oriental, very sexy, very sexual. I absolutely love both. Uh, if I could choose in between both, I just wouldn't. I would get both, if I'm honest. So, yeah, absolutely love that. Um, then, hmm, 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 starting to get high. Okay, look, guys, I would add this. Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. Is it usually my taste of perfume? No, it's just a citrus summery perfume. Citrus summery perfume. But I feel like everyone needs this kind of perfume in their collection. If you find that a perfume is too heavy, for example, like, yeah, too heavy for summer, you can mix this with any perfume and it just gives this citrus note. Worn alone is actually nice as well. It's, a, it's to me the only citrus that has some sort of sexiness to it because to me citrus perfumes are not that great in general because I'm not a, I'm more of a like fall winter perfume person rather than a summer perfume person. Yeah, it's a citrus perfume. Now that I'm smelling it, I'm like, why am I putting it in my Holy Grail perfumes? But like, I always owned it. I always somehow used it. I even mix it with my heavy oud perfumes. It really gives an interesting perspective. So this is tree. By the way, guys, the other day, the drama happened. I wasn't even filming. So I bought a new perfume. I put it on the bedside, on my bedside table. And you know what happened? During the night, I picked up something and a hundred mil bottle just collapsed on my floor. I just straight away reordered uh, a new one and it was a very strong Arabic scent. And my whole room stinks of it now so much that I am not even sure I like it anymore because it's like, I don't know, it smells so much during the night. So yeah. Then, um, okay, this one I like, but for a few reasons. This is Aqua di Parma Oud, by the way, everything will be linked in the down bar below. This is the Colonia Intensa. I know they have like the normal cologne. This is the intense cologne. It lasts all day. It's an amazing fragrance. It's, it smells like basically oud. To me, this is the kind of fragrance that is a very good oud note. There's not much else going on. This is great to wear alone if you like oud or to mix. Like Dolce Gabbana Light Blue, it's like more of a 
yes, single note perfume. Nonetheless, amazing. Amazing, so sexy, so sexual. Great to mix with um, fragrances. Uh, I like to mix this with Alien, which basically makes the exact dupe to Alien Wood, but Alien Wood is discontinued, guys. So yeah, that's why I'm not really mentioning it here because I'm only mentioning the perfumes that you can still get. For spring, I needed to add something for like every season because I feel like it's only fair. Because if I would be stuck with 10 perfumes, I want something to wear in spring. So I chose Narciso by Narciso Rodriguez. It is a musk floral perfume. You know, here in Switzerland, uh, people don't really stop you to compliment you on what you're wearing. It's just not a thing. Sometimes I compliment people on what they're wearing and they look at me like I raped them. Like, it's really, people are more like discreet. But I'm not. So yeah, this is Narciso by Narciso Rodriguez. It's a musk floral. It smells just amazing. It's the, by far my most complimented perfume. I was got, I was got, I was getting. Um, yeah, people people stop me in the street to ask me what I'm wearing when I'm wearing that. I only wear it exclusively in spring or summer. Okay, then this is more of a particular one, but I don't see myself without it. This is a lush last. Uh, this reminds me, a lot of people disagree, but I don't care. I mean, I'm the most important person to myself, you know. So this reminds me, <laughs> so this is a Lush Lust. This is a heavy jasmine perfume. It reminds me of the Tom Ford Jasmin Rouge. To me, they don't smell the same, but I would say 70% similar. If you want a dupe, it's a great one. It's a very old school, sexy um, sandbag jasmine. I absolutely love it. Uh, the ingredients in this are mostly natural. Keep in mind that it's one of those that like, you have to like heavy fragrances that are a bit grandma-ish. My mother-in-law hates this perfume. And this is the most important information about this perfume. <laughs> Oh my god, this smells just so vintage. It's it smells like I would like I would imagine a old school, I don't know, just like like an old school theater or something like that. Hypnotic Poison by Dior. It is a vanilla almond perfume. I absolutely love it for winter. It's one of those, it has a very um, gourmand vibe. It's great for winter time. It's sexy as long as you like sweet notes. I usually don't like um, perfumes that are fruity sweet. I like perfumes that are um, sweet as in like food sweet. I know that fruit is a food too, so why am I saying that? Uh, let's put it this way, more like chocolates, uh, sweet nuts, uh, sugar, Stuff like that, not like in the fruity way. I like it in this way. So sweet, obnoxious uh, perfume, if you like it, hypnotic poison is for you. The Eau de Toilette uh, version is very good, even for the lasting power. I would say it's definitely a great one. By the way, Lash Last is not the best for lasting power. I don't know how many perfumes I did, but let me check. Okay, I did already seven, but let me just add Four. No, okay, I'll add three. Thierry Mugler Aura. This is a great perfume. I like it for all year round. You can wear it in summer, in winter, in fall, and so on. Because it has clashing notes. I absolutely love perfumes with clashing notes. Uh, notes that are not from the same category. It has vanilla and green vibes. Green meaning like anything that's green, vegetables, forest, you name it, as long as it's green, it's kind of is in this category. It smells of green and vanilla. Vanilla, yeah, I would say like smelling it now, after I smelled all these heavy orientals, I would say it's more of a um, kind of like spring summer perfume. But I feel like you can wear it still all year. So yeah, vanilla, green perfume. When I tried it the first time, I hated it. It's definitely for, and it has a bitter note in it. Keep that in mind, go check it out. Anyway, Thierry Mugler is like the king of life. 
I'm not like when I say Terry Mugler, I mean the brand. I know that Terry Mugler doesn't do his own perfumes because he's not a perfumer, he's a designer. So if you wanted to comment something bitchy in the comments, don't bother. I know it's not actually Terry Mugler doing the perfumes. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's not go too much into Terry Mugler. <laughs> Okay, Olympia by Paco Rabanne. It is a great salty vanilla perfume. It smells like a dessert as well. This is also one of those that you can wear in summer and winter. It's a statement one. It's a great lasting power. Most of those that I mentioned to you are, are great lasting power because I'm not a weak lasting power person at all. One of them is not... Okay, let me go into this. This is uh, Ombre de Merveille from Hermès. This is the ultimate fall perfume, in my opinion. It smells of amber with the signature of Eau de Merveille. It's just beautiful. It smells like... I don't know, like... Beautiful. I Sometimes I don't know what to say. When it smells beautiful, it just smells beautiful. Okay, let me add the last one. I'll add this one because this one is very original. So this is um, Angel Muse from Thierry Mugler. This is a patchouli chocolate perfume. I honestly, it's the only perfume where I don't hate the patchouli, but I really don't like patchouli. Seriously, patchouli reminds me of when I'm sick and I stay in bed without showering. Uh, for three days. Don't pretend it never happened to you because I know it did. Um, it reminds me of dirt. Yeah, it smells like a dirty chocolate basically. Yes, it's very original. So as you can tell, I love original fragrances. These are my uh, 10 fragrances for life that I will update every year. So yeah, guys, tell me... Um, what is your holy grail perfume for life if you could keep only one? If I could keep only one, I would say I would keep Alien from Thierry Mugler because I really like it. So yeah, this would be my number one holy grail. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love it. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.